Hi students! So welcome back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about the sum and difference of two cubes. Okay, for example, so factor the following. For number 1, we have 8x to the 15th power minus 27. So first, what you're going to do, okay, is just to think of a two number. If you multiply by itself thrice, so the answer is 8. Or what is the cube root of 8? So the cube root of 8 is 2. Because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So next is we have here x. So just write x here. What you're going to do for our um, exponent is just to divide it by 3. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. So we have here 5. Okay. Next, so this is my minus here. Next, uh, think of a number. If you multiply by itself thrice, the answer is 27. Or, what is the cube root of 27? So, the cube root of 27 is 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. Okay, next. So, if this is negative, so put positive sign here and also here. Okay? So, in our first term, what we're going to do is just to find the square of the first term. So, this is our first term. So, what is the square of our first term? So, 2 times 2 is 4. So, we have 4 here. Okay? So, we have x. Now, what we're going to do in our um, exponent is just to multiply it by 2. So, 5 times 2 is 10. Okay. So, we have here 4x to the 10th power. In our middle term, what we're going to do is just to multiply the first and the last term. Okay? So, 2x to the 5th power times 3 is 6 because 3 times 2 is 6. 6x to the 5th power. So, 6x to the 5th power. Now, in our last term, so let's square the last term. So, let's square 3. So, 3 times 3 is 9. Now, this is our final answer. 2x to the 5th power minus 3 times 4x to the 10th power plus 6x to the 5th power plus 9. If for number 2, we have x cubed plus 64. So, again, okay. So, what is the cube root of x cubed? So, that is x. Because x times x is x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. So, that is x here. So, this is plus. So, write plus here. Next, what is the cube root of 64? Or think of a number. If you multiply by itself thrice, the answer is 64. So, that is 4. Because 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. Next. Okay. If this is plus, sign here. So, let's just have a negative sign here. And then, in our last term, we have positive. Next, square the first term. So, x times x is x squared. So, that is our first term here. So, our middle term. So, what we're going to do is to multiply the first and last term. So, x times 4, we have 4x. Okay? Next, in our last term, we're going to... Um, square the last term. So, we have 4. So, 4 times 4 is 16. Okay? So, that is our final answer. x plus 4 times x squared minus 4x plus 16. For number 3, we have x cubed plus 216. So, again, find the cube root of x cubed. So, we have x because x times x is x squared times x is x cubed. So, this is plus, so write plus here, okay? So, now what is the cube root of 216? Or think of a number, if you multiply by itself thrice, the answer is 16. So, that is 6. Because 6 times 6 is 36, times 6 is 216. Next, if this is plus, so put negative sign here, and then in our last term, that is positive. Next, Square for our first term is square the first term. So, x times x, x squared. For our middle term, just multiply the first and last term. So, x times 6, we have 6x. 
Okay. Next, for our last term, so what we're going to do is just to square the last term. So, 6 times 6 is 36. So, this is 36. Now, our final answer here is x plus 6 times x squared minus 6x plus 36. For number 4, we have 8a to the 6th power minus 27b to the 12th power. So, next, okay, what is the cube root of 8? Or think of a number if you multiply by itself thrice, the answer is 8. So, that is 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Now, we have a here. So, just write a. Next, what we're going to do in the exponent, just divide it by 3. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. This is minus. So, just write minus here. Next, what is the cube root of 27? So, think of a number. If you multiply it thrice by itself, so the answer is 27. So, that is 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So, now we have B here. So, just write B. Next, so what we're going to the exponent is to divide it by 3. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay? Next, in our right-hand side, Side. So, this is negative. So, just write positive here and also positive here. For our first term, um, we have to uh, square the first term. So, what is 2 times 2? We have 4. Okay? A. And then, multiply the exponent by 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4. Next, in our middle term, what we're going to do is to multiply the first and last term. Okay? So, we have to multiply 2a squared times 3b to the 4th power. So, 2 times 3 is 6. a squared times b to the 4th power is a squared b to the 4th power. Next, in our last term, so what we're going to do is just to um, square the last term. So, 3 times 3 is 9. So, we have b here. And then, multiply the exponent by 2. So, 4 times 2 is 8. So, our final answer in number 4 is 2a squared minus 3b to the 4th power times 4 fourth power plus 6a squared b to the 4th power plus 9b to the 8th power. So, for number 5, for our last example, we have 1000a to the 6th power plus b to the 6th power. Okay? So, again, Let's think of a number if we multiply itself thrice, the answer is 1,000. Or, what is the cube root of 1,000? So, that is 10. Because 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000. Next, we have here A. So, just write A. And therefore, the exponent, divide it by 3. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. Plus, this is plus, so just write plus here. Okay, so next we have B. Okay, next is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, for our right-hand side, since this is plus, so we have minus sign here and then plus sign here. For our first term, just uh, square the first term. So, what is the square of 10? 10 times 10 is 100. So, we have A here. The exponent, just multiply it by 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4. Now, for our middle term, what we're going to do is just to multiply the first and last term. So, 10a squared times b squared. So, that is 10a squared b squared. Okay? Next, for our last term, what we're going to do is just to square the last term. So, we have b. Okay? So, 2 times 2 is 4. So, now, our final answer in number 5 is... 10a squared plus b squared times 100a to the 4th power minus 10a squared b squared plus b to the 4th power. And that's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye!